India has test fired Israeli origin air launched ballistic missile or ALBM Crystal Maze 2. The extended range ALBM means that the Indian Air Force will not need to cross the border to strike targets like Balakot, should the need arise in the future, as the entire North Pakistan is within its range. On April 23rd, the Indian Defense Ministry announced that the Russian origin Sukhoi Su 30 MKI test fired the new version of a medium range ballistic missile manufactured by the Israeli Rafale in Andamans and Nicobar. The missile Christian Rocks or Crystal Maze 2 is capable of hitting targets at a distance of more than 250 kilometers. The IEF intends to manufacture these missiles under the Make in India initiative, leveraging the technology from Israel. The relevance of ALBMs has become highlighted in the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war. Russian fighter jets have been deploying ALBMs from well within its territory and outside the hitting range of Ukrainian air defense systems. The ALBMs are designed to strike high-value stationary and movable targets in GPS-denied environments, like the one India faced during the Kargil war. When Pakistani troops infiltrated Kargil, India asked the United States for global positioning system data for the region. The US denied India's request for information from the space-based navigation system maintained by the US government. Crystal Maze 2 would have been able to overcome the impediment. The test of Crystal Maze 2 was carried out by India's Strategic Forces Command. The missile allows India to strike targets deep within enemy territory without physically crossing the border. Balakot was the site of an airstrike carried out by the Indian Air Force in February 2019. During that operation, IEF jets crossed the line of control to target terrorist infrastructure in Balakot, Pakistan, 81 kilometers from Uri in Jammu and Kashmir, and 50 kilometers from the line of control. With the Crystal Maze 2, the Indian Air Force can potentially enhance its strategic flexibility. ALBMs can be launched from various platforms including fighter jets, bombers and other aircraft. This flexibility allows for rapid deployment and adaptability to changing scenarios. Unlike ground-based missiles, the ALBMs are not tied to fixed launch sites, making them harder to predict and counter by adversaries. ALBMs can be launched from high altitudes, allowing them to bypass enemy air defenses and missile interception systems. By approaching targets from unexpected angles, ALBMs increase the likelihood of successful strikes. Since ALBMs are air-launched, they have shorter flight times compared to ground-launched missiles. This reduced warning time makes it challenging for adversaries to respond effectively. ALBMs can be deployed covertly, catching opponents off guard. Surprise launches can disrupt an adversary's military operations and create confusion. ALBMs like Crystal Maze 2 serve as a deterrent against aggression. They bolster India's defense capabilities by providing an additional layer of response options. However, they come with their challenges related to aircraft modifications, safety protocols and coordination. This air-to-surface missile is a precision-guided munition developed by the Israeli defense company Rafale Advanced Defense Systems. It is renowned for its accuracy and effectiveness in striking ground and naval targets. The missiles are equipped with advanced guidance systems incorporating inertial imaging infrared or TV guidance with guarantees exceptional precision even over extended distances. These missiles commonly carry high explosive warheads and can be deployed from diverse platforms including aircraft and submarines. This adaptability renders them suitable for an extensive array of missions from targeting enemy military installations to striking naval vessels. The missiles would also serve India well in the Indian Ocean region considered to be country's area of dominance. To achieve precise terminal homing, the operator can directly control the missile through an inertial navigation system and a data link using either a television or imaging infrared seeker which depends on the specific missile model importantly the launching aircraft doesn't need to retain control of the missile control can be transferred to another platform while the launching aircraft safely exits the area the export version offer a choice between two types of warheads a 340 kilogram blast fragmentation warhead or a 360 kilogram penetrator. These guidance systems work in harmony to ensure that the missile precisely reaches its intended targets. Jai Hind!